And how's it going everybody and welcome to the Jeep Man King channel and guess what we're gonna be doing today as you can see I've got a super long asphalt driveway that goes way over there to the road comes all the way back to me and then now out in front of me got another 100 feet in front of me so we're close to about a 400 foot long driveway and I'm gonna take you guys through a process in which I found a crack sealer at Lowe's that works extremely well. All right, guys, <clears throat> so this is it right here. It's a contractor grade. It's a commercial grade um, QPR. Um, and it's just basically, it's a hot applied crack sealant. And this is what you're gonna see. Most of the professionals out there, crack sealing like some of your major uh, commercial parking lots. It's a rubberized material. And let me tell you, it's not tar. It's actually a rubberized material that stays flexible in the winter time and summertime and it won't crack and peel up and i'm telling you what guys um i just retired from uh dot department of transportation and uh for 25 years there and we use something very similar to this um, but it was a craftco brand but i couldn't find any local until i went to lowe's and i picked this up and I've had this for a few years now and uh, the last time i resurfaced the driveway Here's the other half of it that goes down to the other side. It was about five years ago. Um, I am gonna be putting down a little bit better sealant. It's supposed to last for eight years. So we'll see on that, cost a little bit more, but hey, if it, uh, if it lasts eight years, then I'll be money ahead. But before we do that, we're gonna be putting down some of this crack sealant. And uh, guess what? I've got a nice little outside turkey burner. And uh, no, there's no turkey in there. <laughs> it's a melted, uh, sealant that's in there and that right there works really well and you're gonna need you a, a propane bottle as well so we'll get this set up and we'll let it start heating up but let me show you some of the cracks like this crack right here this was done right at five years ago and i don't know if you guys can see that if the camera's picking that up but that i can stick my finger in there it's still pliable after almost five years and it does a phenomenal job as your asphalt heats up and expands, expands and contracts. A lot of times some of the other sealant will just crack and then, then there's a gap there and then water gets in and then guess what? It just keeps on cracking. Um, as you can see right here, it was another crack that was done and it's still sealed. This right here, you can still see where the crack is but it's still completely sealed up to where water can't go underneath and then freeze, expand and then bust some of the asphalt so we'll be going through touching up some of the new cracks that's formed and uh then we'll be putting down some of the sealant oh let me show you a spot over here i've got this great big oak tree right here and the roots are expanding out and i had a time trying to, to get this to seal right here because there's a, a root that kind of comes down around and it just, it opens this up every time until I use this product on there. <laughs> I've got some uh, squirrels and I saw three skunks in the yard. They've been digging around the mulch that I just put down. As you can see, they dig these little holes, little rascals. Anyhow, let me show you this. Gotta get the blower out. So this was a huge crack right here. And as you can see, see how that is still it's just awesome and then it comes right back and it really sticks extremely well it'll stick to the asphalt and as it heats up it'll, it'll just expand and then it cools back down it contracts yeah you can't even tell where i put my finger in there but they just jam it in there really hard and the thing just i'll come back in a couple minutes guys and you won't even be able to tell see yeah, that's it's already coming back push it a little bit and it's already coming back to life so man yeah. let's take you through the process we'll get this heater set up here and uh, instead of turkeys won't be no deep frying no turkeys let's deep fry some rubber Now what's important too is when you're hitting, heating the ceiling up is you don't want to put it at full bore, full wide open on your gas, all right? You, you want it to just kind of heat up a little at a time. I did do this last time. It was late fall. 
last time I did this, it was a little cool and it was windy. It didn't work out too good because it took longer for that to heat up. But now it's like uh, low 90s today and uh, it's going to work out really well. Getting it warmed up pretty fast. So I'll bring you back as soon as this is uh, warmed up. And then two, a couple of things you're going to use. You're going to need something like this. This is a just a metal, I think it's a one quart uh, little funnel. And uh, you'll need something like this that can handle the heat because we're looking at probably close to 250 degrees, 300 degrees, the melting point of this. So you need something that's going to handle it very well. Along with that, get you a nice thick glove. I just, this is a welding glove that I use. And then just get you an old little scraper like this. This we're gonna spread it out once you pour it on the crack, so. And too, while that's heating up, when you guys open this bag up with this uh, basically rubberized material in there, you're gonna see you got a bag that there's two pieces in here. And when you pull this out, leave the bag on it. It is made to leave on there. Don't worry about trying to peel it off the rubber. Leave it on there, throw it in your pot, and warm it up, okay? And it will melt right in with the material. So, just FYI. And another thing, too, the directions, of course. You know, if you, uh, like me, don't read directions, so after the fact, it's 375 degrees is the, the application point in which you want to put this down on the pavement. So, uh, somewhere in there, as long as it's liquid and it'll flow, you can actually apply it. It's not like it has to be right at 375 degrees. If you can put it down, it's a little tacky and... Maybe a little thicker, no problem. Just take your little scraper and smear it in the crack. You'll be good to go. I just got my old mixing stick right here. I'm just going to mix this around a little bit. As you can see, it's still solid on top, but it's starting to liquefy down on the bottom where the heat is. If you're starting to see a lot of green smoke, um, that just means you need to turn your heat down a little bit and let it, it's melting faster at the bottom than it is can get to the core of this. So this is finally starting to have a little bit of a heavier smoke to it. Little bit of a, a greenish smoke so i'm going to cut the heat down a little bit and let it warm up a little bit slower got a metal coffee can that's going to be an, an excellent little scooper for me i'm going to scoop down with it and actually fill up my little dispenser work this stuff will burn you 375 degrees so use your own judgment all right guys so this little crack right here it's gotten a little bit bigger in the last few years i'm going to do this one first and I'll uh, videotape this to kind of show you how it is. really hot inside this little holder and it, it actually goes a really long way all right so anyhow what y'all can't really tell let me zoom out here is this driveway right here this section actually has a really good steep hill to it and this crack right here opens up about every I mean so slow slightly and uh, I'm gonna set the camera down here and uh, let you guys see this hopefully my camera won't get too hot and shut off again but uh, then we'll go get some more uh, material and we'll start putting it down So that's uh, that was a pretty big little gap right there. That asphalt was actually probably cracked up about a quarter of an inch right through this area here. So when I put it in there hot, it'll actually kind of seep down in there. Just let it seep in there, like you saw. Let it cool a little bit. Put some more on top, and it'll fill all the way to the top. That way, you don't have to worry about water kind of getting underneath there and doing some more damage underneath your asphalt. So just remember, concrete will get hard and crack. Asphalt gets hard and we'll crack too, so it's just part of maintenance. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to take you on a little tour. That way you can kind of see everything that I did. And uh, just remember, it looks... And it'll stay a little tacky, but it won't stick to your finger, all right? And that's a good thing, because we're getting ready to put that driveway sealer on top of it. And it looks like it just stays wet, but it's actually good to go. And uh, as you can see, this filled in all of the bigger cracks that your normal sealer would not seal. Now listen, I've tried this stuff in the gallon jugs that you can get from Lowe's or Menards or Real King Tractor Supply. It looks like it would fill a nice crack, but let me tell you, it doesn't. It comes in a gallon jug and it looks kind of thick and you pour it into crack. Once it dries, there's nothing left. Most of it will seep right down through the crack and then you've pretty much wasted your time. So I have used about a gallon and a half um, of this material that I got at Lowe's. So, for doing almost a 350, 400 foot long driveway with a gallon and a half of that rubberized material, it has done a really good job. And uh, I've got enough in that box. I didn't even use any in the box. I thought I, I bought two of them. Thought maybe I would use more but i haven't so i've got enough guys for probably 10 15 more years to keep this driveway healthy and that way i don't have to pay somebody to come in and resurface it so let me show you the material that i'm going to put down a sealer and uh if you guys want to stick around i'll let you watch me do some more work and seal this driveway. I'm just gonna do half of it today, but uh, I think you'll get the, the picture. Hope All right, so this is it. Um, I did buy this at Menards. They had a better price, and it's supposed to be an eight-year warranty. Now, whatever that means, I have no idea. <laughs> Except it's supposed to have eight times as much acrylic polymer modifier in there, and it will help seal and uh, fill as well. Now, this wow. is the advanced gel formula. Um, I've never used this product before. And I'm kind of curious to see how it does. So, hey, let's start putting some down and see what it looks like. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up each bucket as I get to the bucket. That way it won't settle out. And I've got a big old drill and a big mixer. So we're going to be popping the tops and doing some mixing. And we'll just dump it out and start squeezing it around. All right, so this is the drill I got. Um, and I just can pick one of these big mixers up. Kind of use it for anything and everything. Paint, driveway sealant. Uh, probably drywall mud actually i think that's why i bought this when i built the cottage over there if you go to my channel you check check out the cottage i built that's what i use this for so uh anyhow um i did i did pick up a new squeegee <laughs> my other one was kind of wore out so i got a new one and uh, we'll get this cleaned up after we're done that way i can use it for more uses besides just driveway seating all right All right, right off the bat, I can definitely tell this stuff is a lot thicker than the like the three-year or the four-year um, driveway sealer. This is really thick, so hopefully the thickness that that is is going to get up to that eight years of uh, quote warranty that they give you. Let's go. As you guys can see, when you dump out your bucket, just put it upside down. That way the rest of it can drain out. That way you won't waste any. Right. So I'm going to go get something to eat. But as you see, I kind of did the outline. What I like to do is come up and do the edges on both sides. And then I'll just work back and forth to fill in the center. So go get something to eat and I'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see here, I'm just going up on the edges right along the grass there. I kind of do those first, and then I come back through, and I pull back any excess of the heavy right down through the middle. And it just seems like it works out pretty good that way. 
And as you can see here, I'm only pulling about half the squeegee and I do that because as you only pull half the squeegee of that sealer back, it gets rid of the air bubbles and it just lays in the cracks and also gets rid of those air bubbles. So you're just kind of making a wave, kind of like a wave of water, but you're just making a wave of the sealer and it's pushing out the air as it goes and it, uh, it just helps you get it down a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. And you know, I actually get uh, pretty good satisfaction doing the driveway. It's, it's kind of fun to be honest with you. I mean, there's some work involved, but when you're just pulling that wave, it looks kind of cool. And uh, it just turns an old faded out blacktop driveway into something that looks new and fresh. And it's, it's pretty nice. Something else that's real important I didn't talk about is uh, if you've got a lot of trees and leaves blown around, make sure you just use your gas blower or electric blower and, and go ahead and blow it off really good to take care of any debris. And uh, Because as you're pulling that squeegee back, if you have any debris, it just makes a mess. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to put down this last bucket right here, and that's going to be halfway. And if somebody's wondering, how many buckets of sealant do I need for this big old long driveway? 12 buckets that's what i use um when i put it down and i put it on there thick i don't i don't really squeegee back pull back a lot um if you notice when i'm running that squeegee back and forth i'm only pulling about half of that squeegee worth of material the back half of that is kind of picking up any excess i leave behind so that might be a, a little hint there for you and uh that way you don't have to go back and try to pull back some of that excess just kind of pull it as you go so uh anyhow i'm gonna bring you back when I'm all done with this driveway, and I'll give you a sneak peek. See, all right, this side here is still wet, and uh, you guys can see where that rubberized crack sealer is. Um, it usually does that until it dries nice and solid, and then you'll see it just a little bit, but it's not too bad. So, and that's a lot, most of that is from probably the time before, but because I didn't have to do very much this time, which was a good thing, I was kind of happy with that. So. Save a few buckets, that way you can block off your driveway. And uh, so it's wet all the way up until these buckets here and then it dries out. And I've already got some nice bird poo. Things with having trees, you're gonna have leaves and sticks and birds nonstop. And you kinda have to time it to where leaves and acorns and everything is not falling too much. But you can see just where that crack sealer is. This is the new stuff. The old stuff that I put down, like there was some old stuff there. It doesn't um, kind of make a little uh, discoloration. It's just the new stuff. And then that will actually fade away as uh, time goes by. You won't even be able to see that. So, But I know some of the shaded areas here are kind of hard to see. But get it all done. And hopefully... It'll do exactly what that more premium asphalt sealer does. It's supposed to last eight times longer than your your basic. And it says for eight years, so we'll find out. So, anyhow. All right, everybody. So, thanks a lot for coming along today. And uh, if you're a, a guy or a gal out there that likes to do a lot of maintenance on their own stuff, man, you've come to write the channel. That's for sure, because I do like to do everything by myself. And it just gives me uh just self-satisfaction i guess just knowing that it's done the best of my ability doesn't mean it's professional but uh i do save a lot of money and cost on paying for labor and guess what day like today i get some nice exercise and uh sweat off about half a gallon of <laughs> water so hey we'll get something to drink guys so hey we'll catch y'all later on jeep man king channel and if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button for me because i sure appreciate it We'll catch y'all later. God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye.